Okay, third grade. Today we are going to continue our letter that's about our PSA that we are going to email to a family member or a friend or someone else we want to share the information with because you did such a great job on your PSAs. We want to make sure that everybody gets to, see, you know, several people get to see them. And because we want, you know, just make sure that we spread our message for sure. So yesterday, I'm going to go here to my back camera. There we go. So yesterday you did your date, you did your greeting, and you did your first paragraph. So in our first paragraph, we either copied um, some of the sentences from our essay, if, you're, you, if you did the same topic for your PSA as you did for your essay. If you didn't, you might have had to come up with another um, interesting fact from the One Well book, something in there to make it sound, um, go along with your PSA. So it said, did you know that on average each person in North America uses 550 liters of water every day? But in other parts of the world, people use only 140, 70, or even as little as 10 liters of water a day. Millions of people do not have access to enough fresh water. Please click on the attached link to Flipgrid to learn more about this important issue. So that is what we worked on yesterday. And today we are going to go ahead and finish up the letter. And so we have two more paragraphs. They're pretty short though. The second paragraph, so here we are getting their attention and telling them that we are, that they're going to click on Flipgrid to learn about the issue. But we want to persuade them to do that. So the second paragraph explains what a PSA is and what you're, and why you did it, kind of, sort of. So it's, so this part here is what we're going to focus on next. In my PSA, and you could put in parentheses public service announcement, about access to water. So yours might be about pollution in water. Yours might be about demand on water. I will tell you more about the problem and ways we can solve it. You don't want to give away all the ways they can, you can solve it because the other ways they won't want to look at the PSA because they'll already know all the ways that they can solve it. Other students also made PSAs on water issues that you can watch and learn from. We want to explain that it's not just you that they're going to see. If we were doing this in class, you would have we, we would have like what we have at the end of a module. We'd have a little bit of a presentation in sec time, when parents would come in and other people would be able to the people who were inviting would be able to come in and actually watch some presentations that you would be giving about your PSA. And so, you wouldn't they wouldn't just be coming to see yours. They'd be coming to see, you know your classmates as well. So we want to include that part about that other students also can be, are going to be on those PSAs. And then we need to include a little bit about how we want them, you know, sort of the, you know, like the conclusion. You know, we have an intro here, conclusion here. We want to give them an invitation to watch, but we also want to encourage them to act. So in this section here, you'll notice this, I hope you, Enjoy watching our final project and seeing all the hard work and learning that took place. So we're encouraging them to, you know, to do this. You don't have to have that same similar sentence. You can say, I really enjoyed making this P PSA and would love to share it with the world. Something like that. To, it could be instead. Then I'll, our last sentence, hopefully you'll be inspired to contribute to making this a better world. So think about how you had the last sentence for your essay when you, you ask them if they would help in some fashion. So that's, this sentence isn't directly from our essay. However, it definitely does help with that part because it tells us that you, you are asking them to do something. You are encouraging them to do something. And then you will have here your closing. You're going to pick um, the one that's best for you, for this person who you're inviting. So it could be sincerely, if you don't know them very well, you know, if you just sort of know them, it could be love, it could be your friend, there's a comma and a capital, and then there, it, then you are going to sign the email. You're going to use your name. All right, so I'm going to show you really quickly, again, how we've been doing this. So he, I looked up my, I found my document from yesterday. Here we are, I have the date. Dear Aunt Susie, I have that first paragraph. I'm gonna to go to the next paragraph. And I no longer really need my other um, 
information, but I can always go back and reread my document if I want some extra information, but you don't have to necessarily do that. Um, it, because since you're not actually telling them the ways you're going to solve it, because you do that in your video. So I'm just going to start with my capital in my PSA. And then again, if, they, if you need to bump the parentheses there, public service announcements, if you don't think they will know what that is. And another parentheses about, and I did access to water. You, might have, um, you might have done about pollution or about demand, about access to water, comma, I will tell you more about the problem. All right, so, and so on. Tell me, tell me more about the problem and ways that we can solve it. You can phrase this in a different way, for sure. You could say, in my video, I talk about pollution, and I will also share with you some ways that you can help solve it. Other and then your next section is going to be other students also made. You need to mention the other, you could say, all of the third grade made PSAs on water issues, and you can learn and watch from all of them. You want to encourage them to watch more than just yours. Um, so they, you know, benefit from this situation. If they came into the classroom, they'd be doing that. So you're going to, you're going to finish, you know, the rest of your paragraph there. You can follow the example that we have. Then your third paragraph. In your third paragraph, you're going to encourage them, you know, um, to watch the videos and to actually do something. So we wrote, I hope you enjoy watching our final project. Again, you don't have to comp continue to do that. Um, you don't have to, you don't have to say it that exact way, but you, you could say, I hope you enjoy watching our videos and seeing the hard work that the third grade did in this unit. Um, and then another sentence, so this last one should be a, at least two sentences where you say, hopefully you'll be inspired to contribute to making this a better world, or I, I hope you think you can do something to help other people get access to water, or I hope you can solve this problem with pollution. Two sentences at the end. Now, what I really wanted to show you on this document was really not the fact that I could type. But when you finish, you know, your blah, 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 and, you know, good work there, and you got your so forth. You are going to then, when you finish all of your, you're going to go ahead and tab again to that four that we used for the, um, for the date, because the signature can go over there or it can go on to the left hand side. It's okay either way. Um, and then this is where I'm going to put love or sincerely. I have a capital, I have a period, and then I'm going to hit return again, and then I'm going to tab right back to where we have that, um, the first letter. And I hit tab instead of the, the space bar because it, it measures it better for you. And then you're gonna, you're gonna write your, type your name in there. Um, if you are sending this to someone that doesn't know exactly who you are, um, which you shouldn't be, um, you'd want a first and last name maybe so they could identify this, but hopefully you're sending this to somebody who really does know you and will understand that if I send it from Lori that they know who it is. Okay, so and, and if you're sending to somebody who they don't know who Joe or Bob or Tyler is, then maybe you shouldn't be sending the letter to them. Send it to somebody you know fairly well. Okay, so tomorrow we will then take this um, letter that we've just written in our Google Doc and we will copy and we will paste it into an email and I will show you how to do that tomorrow. So please make sure that all of this is completed for tomorrow so that that will be an easy process for you. All right, good luck. Go finish our letter, please.